you have made your way here. Uh, when I was listening to the introductions, each one of you and the institution you come from has a unique and special connection to our SMRD. Because the people we have here are either our partners from the business end or our primary stakeholders who are member states. So people from as far as Namibia, Zimbabwe, uh, Kenya, Uganda, etc. those are member states. So having the broad range of our partners and stakeholders here is of great pleasure to all of us as RCMRD. It fulfills our ambition and place as the hub or home of remote sensing of GIS for the continent. Sometimes we talk about member states, uh, but the other day when I was going back to our founding document, actually it talks about members of the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. So it goes beyond the 20 member states that make up RCMRD today. So the aspiration was for us to serve the entire membership of the UNECA, which is basically the whole geography of the continent of Africa. Uh, but even on that, we are privileged to be also the secretariat of AfriGeo. So beyond RCMRD, the premier institution for GIS and World Sensing in our region and the continent, we are also the secretariat of the AfriGeo fraternity. This is the fraternity that brings together all the actors, civil society, academia, government, that operate in our geospatial field. So the home of that secretariat is here. So it's really a privileged position that we don't take for granted, and having you here fulfills that. So once again, let me first of all thank our principal partners here, ESRI and Digital Earth Africa. ESRI, our natural partner, I mean, we can't run away from each other, whether we like it or not. We are together uh, now and forever in terms of fostering the use of this important technology for uh, the benefit of our member states. Digital Earth Africa, uh, I recall the launch was done here in 2018. Uh, from the programming, we had the official launch at again RIC of 2018. And over the past couple of years, they are making their impact on the continent in terms of helping us actually make more use of the vast amounts of geospatial data that is available, then transforming it into what is usable by our member states. So the cross-cutting fields that we have here, I'm sure are going to benefit. I believe our agenda together with industry and partners is to make sure this technology is no longer a preserve of geospatial engineers, of geomatics people, because it's applicable to virtually every field of our life, of our lives in our countries. So beyond here, you'll be the vanguard, but the mission is to make sure everybody can be able to use it. And we've used the analogy in the past uh, to say that uh, when some of us were getting out of secondary school, being able to do a Word document or Excel was an, ex was an expert field. You had to go and learn get a certificate for it. Our aspiration and our vision is that use of GIS should reach that level where today nobody asks whether they actually know MS office or anything. You just use it as a matter of fact on your everyday basis. So can we really push and make sure even basic GIS is usable by everybody? Uh, I remember some cases where uh, we used to have technicians. Uh, I come from Rwanda, by the way. My, my name is Emmanuel, I should have started with that. Uh, but when I was working over there, I think uh, we used to have naughty technicians who used to, you know, uh, mess up with their ministers or politicians and send them, you know, shape files and other JS files. And this book could not open. So they would, they would just be struggling there to understand what is actually in, in it. And, and of course the technicians knew they did intentionally because there's either nothing in it and somebody's waiting for a report. All they do, they send them a uh, shape file. And the person will struggle with it for days and days and wondering what have you sent me. Until they tell them, oh, let me come and help you. And they have more time to be able to prepare actually what they wanted. So it's our hope that even the politicians can have those basic uh, skills that can help them interact with the work that you do.